Welcome back to Design Recipes, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. Farming is no longer just for big businesses. At a time when many people are looking for fresh local produce, a number of urban farmers have planted a seed and watched it grow. Our Brooklyn real estate expert, Donald Brennan of Brennan Real Estate, introduces us to Gotham Greens. Hi, Donald. Thanks, Kathy. It's fair to say that in many ways, we still rely on the family farmer to help reduce our food and fiber. These days, dozens of city or urban farmers are literally sprouting up in big cities. Don't believe me? Right now, I'm standing among thousands of heads of lettuce, and I'm on a roof in the middle of a farm of Gotham Greens. From the outside, this building in Gowanus, Brooklyn may look like any other supermarket. But take a look above. It is actually home to a 20,000 square foot greenhouse for an innovative company called Gotham Greens. Can you tell us about the concept behind Gotham Greens? Yeah, so the concept was to create a year-round farming operation that could provide New Yorkers with a year-round supply of premium quality, locally grown produce. Great. Makes a lot of sense. And what do we have growing here right now in the greenhouse? So this greenhouse, uh, which is in Gowanus, um, is one of our three New York City greenhouses and it specializes on a few different types of leafy greens and herbs. So at this time of year we're growing a lot of basil. So what do we have here? So we've got a few different basil varieties here. Uh, this is our Genovese basil. It's um, the Ita classic Italian that you'd find in Italian cooking. Mm -hmm. um, have, a, have a whiff of that there, right? Um, and these are this is sort of a, a couple week old uh, seedling here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got um, a few different varieties. This is a, a purple, also known as an opal basil. Mm -hmm. Just a very deep red uh, purplish color. It's very popular as a garnish um, and has a nice flavor. And then I really want you to have a taste of this. This is, this is our Thai basil. This is extremely fragrant and it's popular in um, Thai cooking, of course, and uh, East Asian cooking. So have a little rub of that and maybe a taste and you can just see the smell and feel the, that aroma pop. Incredible. It's pretty good, pretty right? Awesome. Yeah. And so at Gotham Greens, we focus on leafy greens and herbs. So this is part of our herb um, um, offering, but we also do about a dozen different types of lettuces, leafy greens, things like arugula, bok choy, kale, among others. Great. Faraj Puri is more than just a Brooklyn pioneer, but an entrepreneur who has attracted national attention for his urban farming concept. Can you talk to us about the process? Sure. Well, this form of agriculture is known as controlled environment agriculture. Mm -hmm. So as the name implies, we try to control the environment in the greenhouses right. to create the absolute optimal growing conditions for the crop. So we monitor temperature, mm -hmm. humidity, light level, CO2, oxygen, and then we have a lot of equipment uh, at our disposal to turn uh, to create those optimal conditions sure. for the crops. And then we also tightly monitor the nutrition, mm -hmm. the pest management, and the goal is to just provide our customers with premium quality, locally grown produce year round. So it's pretty high tech, it's really a combination of science, technology, biology, chemistry, um, as well as running an operating food manufacturing business. Yeah, all very impressive. Uh, can you share with us a little bit about your support and backers for your um, undertaking here? Sure. So this greenhouse facility and all greenhouses are capital intensive, as you sure. can imagine. There's a lot of technology, there's a lot of construction costs, permitting. So uh, we've had to raise a little over $30 million until day, uh, until day in a combination of equity and debt. And mm -hmm. we've also received some support from New York State and the New York City government, um, as well as the government of Chicago, where we also have an operation. Yeah, well, pretty impressive model you got going here so far. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we're here on the roof of Whole Foods. Uh, what is that relationship with that? This is a really unique greenhouse project. So we built our first one in Greenpoint, Brooklyn back in 2011, and we started selling our produce to Whole Foods, and we became one of their um, a primary local suppliers mm -hmm. of uh, leafy greens year-round. So when Whole Foods developed a concept to build a new store in Gowanus on a former Superfund site, they really wanted it to be a very green, ecologically friendly site with a lot of green sort of technologies in it. Yeah. And because we had become become this really reliable local supplier, we started talking about actually building a greenhouse and operating a greenhouse on the roof of their new store. Yeah. And the rest is history. It's, it's a great partnership and uh, we really value their contributions to Gotham Greens. Yeah, sounds like a sensible symbiotic relationship you have there. Exactly. Whole, Whole Foods has shown a lot of leadership in uh, promoting local and sustainable food right. and those are our core values as well. With its climate controlled environment, unlike conventional or rooftop farms, Gotham Greens is able to provide produce year-round. Can you explain the hydroponic growing process to us, please? 
Of course. So when we started Gotham Greens, we were really committed to being an urban agriculture company, and we wanted to really grow in the heart of the city. But then when we started looking at arable land in the city, unfortunately a lot of the soil is contaminated. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we don't have a lot of open lots, and from a real estate perspective, there was a lot of competing interests sure. compared to farming. So we started looking at technologies that would allow us to use very little space, mm -hmm. but be able to use a uh, generate a lot of product from that small footprint. Mm -hmm. So we started looking at hydroponics as a really viable alternative. So the technology does not require soil. So essentially what we do is we dissolve minerals and nutrients into the irrigation water, right. and that irrigation water provides all the nutrition, dissolved oxygen, and of course the water to the, the root plant's um, uh, roots. Yep. And it's a very efficient form of farming. Mm -hmm. It's very productive, it's a sterile environment, so it's really well suited to not only rooftops, but urban areas. Yeah. So this greenhouse, to give you an idea of the efficiency, is about 20,000 square feet, which yeah. is half of an acre. Yet the yields that we produce are equivalent to a 10 acre farm. That's incredible. And no weeding, right? So that cuts down on a little bit of labor. Exactly. No weeding, uh, and we don't have the need for herbicides, and we also eliminate the need for pesticides yeah. through an integrative pest management program. So mm -hmm. this produce is also very sustainably grown. We use renewable energy, we recycle all of our irrigation water, mm -hmm. and we're keeping harmful chemicals outside of consumers' bodies, but also right. outside of the ecosystem. So, thriving business operation here. I understand you're growing and opening up other locations. Can you uh, share some uh, insight on that with us, please? That's correct. Uh, we've subsequently grown mm -hmm. and added three additional greenhouse facilities. So now we have four, right. uh, three of which are in New York City and one is in Chicago. Yeah. So for the near future, we're looking to build more in both New York and Chicago, as well as expand to some other cities across the country. Wow. So demand obviously very strong. Who, who's a typical buyer of your produce? Uh, typically it's supermarkets. Uh, we also sell to um, a few dozen restaurants in both the New York area as well as the Chicago area. So we sell to supermarkets like Whole Foods, D'Agostino, Key Food, ShopRite, yeah. uh, some of the online retailers like Fresh Direct and Peapod and uh, all kinds of restaurants, food co-ops, and a portion of the produce that we grow also goes to those in need. We contribute to City Harvest and other nonprofit organizations that work in the areas of hunger relief and food rescue. Gotham Greens is an example of a growing urban farm movement booming across the country. A thriving local business that is literally giving new meaning to the term buying local. Back to you, Kathy. Thanks, Donald. What an interesting and fascinating look at a Brooklyn business. When we come back, we are on the move, giving tips on how to pack mirrors and artwork. Up next. <laughs>